Guys, I <laughs> I stumbled upon this clip on YouTube that I have for some reason missed out completely. It's not really new, but it's not really extremely old either. Tommy Wiseau. That hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I found out about it, beat her up so bad she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> what a story, Mark. <laughs> it's a friggin' legend. For you who do not know who Tommy Wiseau is, he is an actor and director, supposedly the worst in the entire world. He made a movie, I think it was 2003, called The Room, which is supposed to be the worst movie ever made. I've seen bits and pieces of that movie, and there has been a movie made about Tommy Wiseau, where James Franco is, is acting the role of Tommy Wiseau. It's called The Disaster Artist. I've seen that movie, and that is an amazing movie. He's doing an awesome job portraying Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau is, according to me, a friggin' legend, because the way that he does movies and any acting stuff, it's just that he, he doesn't care what other people actually think. He just acts out completely, making it his own style. And, you know, sometimes that is extremely cringy, and his movies are not good, <laughs> that's for sure. But he still has his own style, and he doesn't really give a flying fuck about what other people think about him. And that's what makes him unique. That's what makes him famous. You're lying! I never hit you! You are tearing me apart, Lisa! This guy is amazing, and he it seems like, if I've understood the internet correctly, that when the Batman movie The Dark Knight was going to be made, he wanted he actually wanted the role of the Joker that eventually went to Heath Ledger. So he actually made a tryout for the Joker. He made a tryout tape for the Joker that is on the internet. But he also made a complete recreation of the interrogation scene between Batman and, and Heath Ledger in, in, in the prison. And that's what we're going to watch today. Because I... <laughs> We're going to see Tommy Wiseau as the friggin' Joker, and this could be completely hilarious. It could, could be extremely cringy, and it could be really, really good. Because Tommy Wiseau is... It's like it's like he's he's crazy, you know, but in a <laughs> in a good way. Let's not drag this video out. I want to watch the entire recreated scene from The Dark Knight, but with Tommy Wiseau starring as the Joker. And if I understood it correctly, the guy who's portraying Batman in this recreational scene is actually Greg Sestero, who is also an actor in The Room. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's do this. <laughs> Nerdist! Nerdist presents! In March, Nerdist brought you Tommy Wiseau's Joker audition tape. Okay. Now we bring you... The Dark Knight. <laughs> Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. He can't feel anything. <laughs> Anything. You wanted me. Here I am. I want to see what you do. And that is Greg Sestero. Batman is Greg Sestero. Five people die, and you let Dan take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dent? Those mobsters, those uh, fools want you gone so they can go back. They I like that. Go back. Because you change everything forever. And why do you want to kill him? Change everything forever! <laughs> oh. And why do you want to kill me? Oh my. I don't want to kill you. Why should I kill you? What I would do without you? <laughs> you. You. Complete me. You're garbage! <laughs> you <ask for> money. <laughs> <laughs> of I'm sorry. You are I'm sorry. Not. You are not! You're just a freak like me. They need you right now, but when they don't, they cast you out like a leper. <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh. Where the chips go down. These civilized people, they will eat each over. Just like that. Boom. I'm not the monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. Ah! Where is that? You have all this rule you think they will say to you? No, they will not. Ah! I have one rule. Then that's the rule you have to break to find the truth. Which is? The only sensible way to live in this world is without rules. And tonight, you are going to break your one rule. I'm considering it. If you want to save one of them, you have to play my little game. <laughs> yes, you have to. Yeah. You know That's how fucking wild. brilliant. I thought what? You were dead. <laughs> the way you throw yourself after her. <laughs> Look at you go. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, but this is actually pretty good. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Healing is making a choice. Choose between one life or the other. Your friend, the district attorney, <laughs> or his blushing bride to be. <laughs> you have nothing. Nothing to fret me with! Nothing to do with all your strength! <laughs> it didn't hurt! <laughs> do it again. This is amazing. Oh, boy, I will tell you what I am. Both of them! And that's the point! You have to make a choice! <laughs> He's at 250 52nd Street. And she's in Avenue X. But you have to make a choice. <laughs> oh, Batman! Have fun! Batman. Please <laughs> go. <laughs> Hi, this is Tommy Wiseau. This is Greg Sestero. Oh my and God. And we're a surprise for you. You can see Best Friends on iTunes worldwide on September 25th. Watch, have fun. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, I want to start out with saying that I actually like Tommy Wiseau. He's not a good actor. His movies are not very good, but he's hilarious to watch. And simply because he doesn't give a sh a shit what other people say he's just doing his thing being all chilled out and that's what you gotta love about Tommy Wiseau and it's always been like that and the thing is <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this I mean this particular scene him being the Joker in some f weird way actually worked pretty well <laughs> I mean he's like he's like he's crazy I mean it's creeping me the fuck out because he's he's very different from Heath Ledger of course Heath Ledger did the role of the Joker so amazingly good so did Jacqueline Phoenix putting his own thing in 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 there you know I love Jack Nicholson as a Joker that is my favorite Joker of all time because he's the original Joker for me but and Mark Hamill is the voice of Joker is completely amazing. I would love to see him in a recreation of, of the Joker as well, of course. That would be so cool to see. But I mean, Tommy Wiseau, I know that he has an accent that is impossible to get away from. But in some weird way, it works anyway. And there are a few scenes in this particular scene that are a little bit cringy and a little bit poorly made or executed. But I'm gonna be completely honest here, Tommy Wiseau did a better job than Greg Sestero portraying Batman because, I mean, it was okay, but he, he tried so hard changing his voice into the voice of, of, of Christian Bale. YOU GARBAGE! Became like, YOU GARBAGE! <laughs> Thank you! I'm sorry, Greg, you're awesome in your own way. But you... Uh, you can't do Batman, okay? Tommy Wiseau did a, a better job of the Joker, actually. Some of the, the parts in this scene was actually really, really good. 
in a weird way. I can't explain it. I think you know what I mean, but I would love to see this on a massive budget. I would actually, I would totally pay cash to see The Dark Knight with Tommy Wiseau as the Joker and see what he would have done with that, because it would have been completely bonkers and bananas. And that could, in a weird way, work, because the Joker is... He's crazy! Ah, wow, well, that's... I mean, that is... That is what I think about this, and uh, I like this. What did you think about this? If you haven't seen it before, please leave your comments down below. It would be so awesome to discuss this. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe. That would be so amazing, and it would mean so much to me. I mean, it is for free. I'm doing this to entertain you. And uh, drop a thumbs up on the clip if you haven't already done that. It helps me a lot. And I'm, uh, I'm on social media. You can go follow me there. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the name of Gimento, and I reply to all of my DMs over there, as well as to the comments on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.